or you use your left hand so that you can follow the sequence across the top of the uh, board there. Okay, you'll give me a countdown of three, two, one, mark, and we'll both turn those keys to the right. Okay. Three, two, one, mark. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Okay, release. What we've done cannot be stopped. It's like shooting a, a, a gun, and we have yet to find an oops button down here. <laughs> so it's, it's going. The only thing that can happen is the missile can shut itself down, but we cannot shut it down. We're going to get a launch enable light. It tells us that our BMAT put in the right code here. Our battery's activated. There's two 28-volt batteries. It's being force-fed electrolyte on that missile and it'll take 30 seconds for them to come up to charge. The APS light tells us that those batteries are on high. And the silo soft light tells us that the silo cover is being lifted and opening. We're going to get a guidance go, which tells us the guidance system is working. We're going to get an engine fire that tells us that we've got fire down in the silo. And in four seconds, we're going to have liftoff. 58 seconds from the time we turn the keys up to 35 minutes from now and up to 6,500 miles, target two is going to be eliminated from the face of the earth. 58 seconds. <laughs> Through mad mutual assured destruction, we never had to use this weapon. Uh, our checklist tells us that we need to close the silo doors and we need to put those fires out down in the silo. And our orders are to wait for further orders. As far as the commander's concerned, her job is done. Mm -hmm. When do you clean up your pants? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got time. That in the checklist. Yeah. I don't know if the checklist says that or not. Okay. Uh, like I say, through MAD, we never had to use these weapons. Uh, this was a deterrent weapon. The Good news is that we've got about 30 days worth of food and water down on that third level. The bad news is that when we launched, our fresh air was shut off, so we have no fresh air coming down here. Expert tells us that we had about 15 to 20 days maybe of good air. So our commander would have to make the decision if we stayed down here and suffocated or if we went down to that third level through that submarine type hatch, up that ladder to that fresh air uh, vent, uh, to a world full of who knows what. But luckily we never had to do that. <laughs> Thank you for your help today. You're welcome. What does that say in the center? Let it make me look. I turned the key. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> now, now that we know who turned the key and who's responsible for this missile, <laughs> back in 1963, it was only two and a half million. Uh, no problem. No problem. Yes. So let's run down real quick and see if that missile's down there. Okay. Those with uh, hard hands, be sure to put them back on.